everyone. My name is Ruchika Gupta. I have done graduation in statistics and masters in operational research, having over 11 years of working experience. I am currently undergoing a certificate program in data science from IV Professional School. As a part of the course curriculum, I had to complete a research project using a real-life data set available on open platforms on the internet and analyze it using SQL. So here is a small case study that will help in understanding the most important website engagement metrics for the visitors coming through paid marketing campaign using the past five months data captured by running different marketing campaigns. So first of all, I would like to give you some brief about uh, the need here. The delivery management software company in India has been running Google AdWords campaign to get more customers purchasing their software subscription plans through their website. The company wants to understand the most important website engagement metrics for the visitors coming through paid marketing campaign using the past five months data captured by running different marketing campaigns. The information would help them optimizing their marketing campaigns accordingly. Let me just give you the brief about the data set here. Now the data set that we are going to use here contains five months data starting from 1st January 2021. Now the data set contains three tables that is the events table user table and the customers table. The data in events table is driven from different paid marketing campaigns through Google AdWords. Now the events table, this table contains the data of all the events that are triggered in response to the actions taken by the users, visitors on the website during the period from 1st January to uh, till 30th May 2021. Now the user table contains the data of each unique user who have taken an action on the website during this period. And the customers table contains the data of all the active and inactive customers who have purchased a subscription plan. Obviously, these are from the customers who have taken an action on the website during this time period. So let me show you the data set here. So now if you can see, these are, these are basically the attributes. These are the tables we have. Now let me just give you a brief about the attributes for the events table. So ID, first of all is the ID. ID represents each unique row in the table. Date is basically the date when the event is ha e even happened. Now what event is here? Event is a tag to record certain users interactions on the website. So it could be like uh, book a demo or maybe sign up or callbacks, all the actions taken by the users important uh, actions taken by the users are being captured here. Now the country is uh, again the country is from where the event happened. User ID is the ID of the users who have initiated at least one session on the website. Now device category is the device used by the user through which they have visited the website. Operating system is used by the user through which they have visited the website. Event type is the event tags that are triggered in response to the actions taken by the users on the website. Event ID is the ID basis, the event type and time on the website is the time spent by the user on the website. Now here is the brief about the attributes for the user table. So user ID is the uh, is assigned to each user who has taken an action on the website. It's a unique ID, ID for each of the user. Now user email is again the email ID of the user. User full name is the full name of the user. Let me explain you the attributes about the customer tables. Customer ID is the unique ID of each customer. User ID is the user ID of the customer as in we always get the customers from the users who have actually taken an action. So these are the customers who have actually purchased a plan. So status is the active status indicates that the customer is still using the software and inactive is vice versa. They are not uh, active and they're not, they have stopped using the uh, the software. Now the plan is basically the subscription plan that the customer is using at the moment. So now just let's discuss the important business questions that will help in optimizing the paid marketing campaign. So first of all, we'll find the most popular device category based on account of the number of users who have at least 50% of their events from book a demo or sign up. The next question is about finding the distribution of all customers based on different event types. The third question is finding the distribution of all customers over operating system. And the last question is about finding the 
top five countries in terms of the number of active customers along with the average time spent by visitors on the website in these countries. Let's just move on. So first of all, we will create a database. So the command in order to create a database is create database. I am uh, creating a database with the name performance here. So uh, after creating the database, we will now create the tables. Since uh, the data is large, so we are going to use command line from in order to insert values in the table. But first of all, we have to create the tables. After creating the tables, we have to insert the values in the table using the command line prompt. As I already told you, it is recommended to use command line prompt instead of data and import wizard to insert values in the table when there is a large amount of data in the table. So I've used command line prompt in order to insert the values here. So you can see here, so you can see the tables here. So I'm running this query in order to see all the values in the table. I'm just running this table and then you'll be able to see the values in the events table here. Similarly, I'm going to create the table for users and insert the values. And then I can check using this query to see the data in users table and the data in the customers table. Now let's just move on to the first question that we have to find. We have to select the most popular de device category based on the count on the number of users who have at least 50% of their events from book a demo or sign up. So in this case, the, the query seems to be broken down into two parts. First of all, we have to find the users with 50% of the events from book a demo or sign up. And then we have to select the device category for the users that we found in step one. So moving forward in step one, we have to find the users with 50% of events from book a demo or sign up. So we are going to use this query to find this information. Here we will first of all find total count for the required event type for each user divided by the count of the total event types. This will ultimately give us the percentage of the required event from each user. Then we are using the comparison operator here to find the users who has the percentage of the required events greater than or equal to 50%. Then the output that we'll get here from this query is this. Now, this will list all the user IDs with the 50% uh, of events from Booker Demo or Sign Up. Now, in step two, we have to select the device category for the users that we have found in step one. So, we will first of all going to find the total users for each device category who has a percentage of required events greater than or equal to 50%. Then we will find and arrange the data of total users in descending order. So the most popular device category will come on the top. Then we will only show the top row data using the limit function here. So this is the query which will help us find the most popular device category among the users. So here is the output. So desktop is the most popular device category among the users who has their events from book a demo or sign up. Let's just move on to the next question. Distribution of all customers based on different event type. So here we are going to use this query wherein we'll be selecting the event type count of customer ID that will give us the count as the total customers from customers table inner join events using user ID. We are using inner join because uh, this information, the e we will get the event type from the event tables and the customers from the customers tables, we are going to get the customer ID. So that is why it was important to use inner join group by event type order by total customers descending in descending order. So we are grouping it by event type because we wanted to find the count of customers in for each event type. So that is why we are grouping it by event type. So here is the output. So now you can see that most of the customers, in fact, the maximum number of customers have requested for a callback. And uh, on and the next one is book a demo. So after a callback, the next popular event is the book a demo and so on. So here is a graphical representation of the data of the information that we have received. Now, now let's just move on to the question number three. Here we have to find out the distribution of all customers over operating system. 
so again we will be using the same query that we used in uh, second question we just replacing the uh, the event type with the operating system because here we just wanted to know the operating system so again grouping by uh, operating system and we are going to use the inner join so the output that came is this that means the maximum number of customers have been using operating system those who have actually purchased a plan and the second one is the android so now this is the graphical representation of the same information now this is the last question that we have to find we have to find the top 5 countries in terms of number of active customers along with the average time spent by the visitors on the website in these countries so for this we are going to use this query select country count customer id as total customers average time of customer here we are using the round value because this will uh, round up the decimal values up to 2 as average time on website from the customers again we are going to use the inner join events because we need to have the information from the events table and from the customer tables using user id as the common column attribute now where status is equal to active because we only need to find out the number of active customers group by country order by total customers in descending order and limited by five because we have to find in the top five countries so the output for this is this you can see the the uh, we we are getting the maximum customers from india where the average time spent by these customers is 35.87 then the second one is the United States total customers are 23 the gap is too much here and the average time spent on the website is 35.31 then we have Pakistan on the third number Malaysia is on the fourth number and Singapore again on the fifth number so here are the key findings of the case study first of all desktop is the most popular device category among users who have their events from Booker demo or signer this also means that mobile and tablet P PPC traffic is underperforming and you're not providing a satisfactory mobile experience. Second one is the callback. The callback is the most popular event among the users. I mean the website visitors who have purchased a plan. So the marketing team can focus on setting up more call campaigns to encourage customers to call by clicking or tapping their ad. Third one is Windows and Android are the top two operating systems among the users. Who have purchased a plan so you can target or exclude users based on the operating system giving you granular control over the users you deliver your ads to the average time spent on the website among the top five countries is between 35.31 to 37 seconds a good benchmark for average time on page is 52 seconds across multiple industries as there is a scope of improvement here the maximum active customers are from India. It is recommended to refine location targeting in the ads as the count of customers from other countries other than India seems to be very low. Providing content to visitors in their regional language is also a good marketing strategy to target global audience. So all these factors help in optimizing the paid campaigns for driving more quality leads at low cost. All right, guys, that's the final conclusion of this analysis. Thank you very much for your unwavering attention throughout this presentation.